Hello, uh, welcome to another episode of Delroy the Spark. Um, well, uh, this job here is to put up a light fitting. Uh, and I've got to run wires to it. And um, uh, the guy's got a, a fitting in his bathroom that I've never seen before. He says it's quite common in Australia. And he wants me to put a, a pull switch so he can switch that fitting on. Anyway, I've never done it before. I've never seen it before. See how it goes. Uh, so just follow me, see what happens. The guy wants this light fitting, fitted between these two here. So I'm gonna hopefully be able to take that down and pull it, link a cable from there to the middle and see. So let's just see how it goes. So I'm just gonna measure that. He wants it in the middle. He said he wanted it the middle of these two, but the middle of these two isn't the middle of here, which he also said. So, um, well, yeah, he said the middle of those two. That's about the middle. Okay. Yeah, um, I've got these rods down here, Joe. See them rods? Yeah. But the best thing usually is this trunky because it's so floppy. I usually use this, this is quite good. So it don't look like, there's nothing in my way. So hopefully, this should go nice and smooth. Hopefully. <laughs> Best plans don't always work out. Okay, let's see what happens. Wow, okay. See, I don't, if I made a bigger hole down there, it'd be better. I don't want to make too much of a big hole because um, you won't be able to um, <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is supposed to be screwed together, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just taped it up. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm going to get a better, better box in there. Yeah, see, these boxes here, Joe, are supposed to have a, two screws that screw them together. So yeah. they've obviously lost the screws and just decided to tape it. But, um,. I'm going to use one of these boxes. I don't. I don't what's the name of these boxes? They're made by Agar. Marlon told me they're called. Well, he calls them coffin boxes. So I went to the old sailor <laughs> and said, "Have you got any um, coffin boxes, junction boxes?" <laughs> the man looked at me. But um, uh, yeah, because even because this is completely gone because. If you haven't got the screws, it's supposed to clip and hold, but it doesn't even clip and hold, so I'll just change it to one of these. These are good ones though, I like these ones. These are coffee boxes. Smiling. Oh, there it is. Sweet. Oh, you thought you'd lost it? <laughs> I saw the missus is always chucking stuff out. <laughs> Blame the missus. Yeah, if all else fails. <laughs> Uh, all right, yeah, mate. Just put that down there for me a second. Yeah, they they fitted this box, but it's not. It's just rubbish. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's not. Chuck it. Uh, right, connections, Joe. You've got to make sure you get the the um connections in the cables in properly. You know, that's what leads to loose connections and all that thing. I'm gonna to have to do. I'm gonna use because I've got three. Because this is this is nicely laid out. You've got the loop for your lives, your earths, your neutral, and then your two switch lines. But because this is um, this is 
this hasn't got a loop, this is just switch line in neutral. I'm gonna, there's, with the, where you put the switch line, there's only two connections, which is fine in a normal situation, but because I've got three, I'm gonna have three switch lines, right, together, so I've got the, and then the switch, the, the cables coming from the fitting, I've got, I'm going to have to use the loop because it's got more connections. That's all good. Like this job. Never leave things on top of stairs. Steps, Joe. <laughs> Dangerous. Right, okay. See all like that. Should that, that, see all that. Flex. That flex should be inside. It's only a minor thing, but if you're going to do a thing, you've got to do it right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, this, this flex should be pushed inside like that. So none of the cores are showing. All right? So that should be in there. And that grips that, yeah? Yeah. That's how it should be. I'm getting in, man. <laughs> <laughs> Honest, if, if nothing wasn't wrong with Joshua, that fight. I'm worried because all you have to do, if that's the case, all you have to do is hit him on the head again. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, nothing wasn't wrong with it. You've got to be worried. Yeah. You've got to think about it. If nothing wasn't wrong with Joshua before the fight and he got hit on the head like that on the temple and then that was it, you, you've got to be worried for him. <coughs> but when you, when you think of what he's done to Klitschko, yeah? yeah? When you think of what he's done to Klitschko, you have to think, nah, something was wrong. That, that wasn't the real Joshua. You see, that's, that's all you can say, really. Before them, before these, back in the day, right, Joe, used to um, used to use toggles, what they call toggles, spring toggles. Right. Um, where you make a hole and you, it's like a spring thing and it's got two wings on it. You yeah. shut it, push it through the hole and it opens. Yeah. And then you tighten them up and they hold. Sometimes... I do, I use them in certain situations where the ceiling, sometimes these aren't the best. They are really good most of the time, but there are, there are occasions where they, um, they're not, there are the other occasions where they don't work out to be the best. I remember when I can't remember what job it was, and I had to get toggles because that's the only way I could get over it. Um, so, uh, see with this um, this cable here is a lot of smoke. Sometimes those strippers aren't the best for stripping them, you know. Yeah. It's a struggle, but it's there. Okay, so now I can stitch this. Right. Voila. It's done. 
Right, um, I just need to do a little test on it. I should have done this before actually. Yeah, I've just, just verified the ZD, it's 1.70, there you go, yeah, look, 1.70, should have done that first, <laughs> always make sure you test, because you're putting up a fitting that requires an earth, you've got to make sure that there's a good earth there, okay, I am um, just such a hurry to get the job done. I forgot to do that. <laughs> but it's all worked out, okay? It's fine. Right, it's this fitting. I've never seen that. Well, I think I've seen pictures fitting lights, but I've never worked on one. One to pull switch on it. Because these are heaters, these lights get hot. So you want to pull switch to control these lights, and then that one comes on with the, all, with the rest of the lights. I've never done this before, so <laughs> see how it goes, man. Um, I see the springs, springs that you're talking yeah, about. So yeah. take the springs off yeah, for exactly. it to drop down. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. And then you should see some screws so you can take the. So when, when I take these springs, when I release these springs, oh, yeah. like that, like that. Up. Yeah, that's all that's holding that plastic down. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Right, and then. And then um, the steel casing off. So, so what, I need to take this off, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, the, what, the, what, these screws? Those screws is probably easiest. Take, and then that drops out? Yeah. And then, and then I should see the switching mechanism? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay then. And then you want me to take it out and pull a pull switch next to it? Yeah. So you can just, so okay. You'll see that there's a Wi-Fi switch in there, yeah. so just to replace that. So at the moment, just one second, let me just verify. So at the moment, Right, they come on. Yeah. But okay. Right, fine. Yeah, that's a Wi-Fi switch. That's a Wi-Fi switch. Um, Tom uses his phone to switch the heating part on. Right. But now he wants to move it over here to a pull switch. And um, but you can see where the heat's melted it. So it's not. It's not that. Uh, but anyway, let's see what goes on. Like I said, I've never done anything like this before, so. Okay, yeah, this fitting, the guy, he says it's coming in, in Australia. I got it from the internet. He built this box to fit it in and he connected it. <laughs> it wasn't earth, it's a metal fitting, it needs to be earth and it wasn't earth. And uh, what happens is you switch on outside and the middle light come on and you pull the pull switch and these these are these are, these lamps are like heaters they come on set separately so it took me a long time i had to rewire all the in, internals because that wasn't done very well and i had to get an earth onto the casing to make sure it was earth so um op operating let's show how it's working maybe if we can quickly So there you got uh, switch this off. That on, right? Switch switch that off, mate. Right, okay. Right now, switch that back on. Right, okay. Right. Now, see that operates that. But what you see, he had a Wi-Fi switch where he used his phone to switch on these. However, it's not proper really because all of this is just. Switch line in neutral in, switch line in neutral out, right? So all, all what I've done, I've got this cable here to there, which is a switch line and a feed, but there's no feed here. So what I had to do is put the feed, the phase with the, with the other two switch lines and the switch line for these ones coming here, I had to link with the switch lines over there. So it's just splitting the switch line. So this light won't work unless this one is switched on which it, i don't think that's how well i suppose what you want is be able to have this these off and this one on but for this one to work 
this has got to be on. Because like I said, if you could, if you had a live going over to there and the switch line, then that would be, you could switch them separately without any problems. But that's how it is, that's how it is. Okay, so, switch on there for me please. Right, so the middle light comes on, all the rest of the lights come on. Switch that on, they come on, yeah? yeah. So they're all working, switch that off, that goes off. Switch that off, that goes off. Cool, end of story. Nice one, thanks mate.